Hello and welcome back. Today I'll go over how to use Olama in R. So Olama is basically an open source project that serves as a powerful and user-friendly platform for running large language models on your local machines. So recently there was a comment by one of the subscribers on my YouTube channel, Islam Ahmed. Professor, please give us your tutorial using Olama with its several models in local without API. Hence this video. For running large language models locally on the computer, we need to first download this from olama.com. So once you come to this page, you will see this uh, download button. Click on that and it gives you option for Mac OS. Since I have Mac OS, I'm going to download that on my computer. So it is going to download as a zip file. So once you double click on that, it will extract the file as Olama, its application, about 440 megabytes. You can also move it to application so that you can access it anytime. So you see this welcome screen, go to next and simply say install and then finish. Now you can see it is available in applications and also you can see at the top where Olama is running right now. Once you are in R, you can run this code and get Olama R, which is a library for running Olama in R itself. Another way could be going to packages and click install. And there also you see Olama R. I use the code in the second line. So after installing it, I can run this library, Olama R an interface to easily run local language models with Olama. So run this. Once this line successfully runs, then we can test whether this connection is working or not using test connection. So it says Olama local server running. So the output looks fine. Now we can run list underscore models. I was already using Llama 3, which is the latest model. It's about 4.7 gigabytes in size and it has 8 billion parameters. Now, if you want to look at what models are available, so on this page you have Llama 3, which is by Meta or Facebook. If you go to the tags, so it says the most capable openly available LLM to date. It's developed by Meta and it is available in 8 billion and 70 billion parameter sizes. So depending on the RAM of your computer, you may have to see which one you want to download. Similarly, there are other models uh, like this one, Quen 2, so 0.5 billion, 1.5, 7 and 72 billion. So how can we pull models from that website into R? We can use command pull. So let's say I want uh, this specific model with 7 billion parameters and then run. Depending on the type of model you have, it may take some time for pulling it. But once it is available, you can do list models and you can see this uh, Mistral is now available. It's 4.1 gigabyte in size and has 7 billion parameters. Because these models are big in size, if you are not using a model, you can also delete the model using delete. So I'm not going to run this uh, at this time. I'll put a hash symbol to make it a comment. So now we should be able to give a prompt and we can get a response locally on our computers without a need for any API. So the function we can use is generate. Generate a response for a given prompt with a provided model. The model I'm going to use is Llama 3. And then we enter prompt within quotes. So many places in the world are very hot right now. So let me say advice for hot weather. We can say we want the output text and then if you want stream format, we can say true. So let's run this. So it gives a very detailed output based on that prompt. Staying cool and comfortable in the heat. 
Here are some tips to help. Hydrate. Drink plenty of water throughout the day. Aim for at least 8 cups. Eat hydrating foods like cucumbers, tomatoes, etc. So, very useful information based on that small prompt that we gave. Let's try to make this smaller. I'm going to say in about 30 words. And then you get a more compact response. Let me try the second model. So, now this is based on Mistral, use sunscreen, avoid direct sunlight and so on. Tell a hot weather joke in about 30 words. Let's see. Same thing with Llama 3. Why did the thermometer break up with its girlfriend? Because it was feeling too much heat and wanted to take a cool down. In case you are wondering where this name Olama comes from, so it's basically a ball game played in Mexico. So they have borrowed this name from there. On my channel at BK Rai, I've also added one option to join as a member. So I highly recommend uh, you consider that and join the membership so that I can bring the latest and greatest uh, things from the field of technology on this channel, including how to run some models in very simple steps. I hope you take benefit of this membership option that I have kept only at 99 cents. This was a very quick introduction to how to use Olama in R and work with the various large language models locally on your computer. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching and see you soon.